Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. And I appreciate you taking some time again here and just um, can ask you to like or to share or to comment or all three um, on the video. And uh, let me know you're here and I help uh, other folks uh, help get in front of uh, other people. Uh, while you're doing that, go ahead with your other hand and grab your Bible. And turn with me to the 78th Psalm. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll be picking up there this morning. And uh, we'll be in this psalm for probably about a week. Uh, this is a long, uh, long psalm. Um, and uh, deals with uh, um, a topic that um, probably a lot of folks in our world need to, um, need to hear and be reminded of. And that is, uh, this is again another psalm. Uh, of uh, of Asaph, um, and um, he is writing to uh, to tell people to, to he he's reminding Israel specifically um, of uh, of the mistakes of their uh, forefathers, uh, the pro the mistakes they had made in following God or failing to follow God, and is reminding them uh, or encouraging them, pleading with them. Uh, not to make the same uh, mistakes that uh, that his uh, that their ancestors had done, and so uh, again, this is one of a, a group of psalms, uh, actually the first uh, of a group of psalms uh, that um, are labeled as historical psalms, um, in that they they um, they really dig into uh, the past and how God had worked. Uh, in Israel. And what we're going to see in this psalm, again, I think is really appropriate for, uh, for our nation, for America, uh, for the world uh, today. And that is, uh, we are reminded uh, of um, how people forget uh, the goodness of God and how quickly uh, they, will, they will turn away from uh, doing uh, the right thing. Good news is uh, that the psalm is also going to remind us that God is still faithful, uh, that God um, does forgive, uh, and um, that uh, God still uh, cares for uh, his people. Uh, so let's uh, dig in here to, uh, again, this, uh, this first verse. Um, again, we're not sure exactly when. Uh, this psalm uh, was written. Some uh, think that it was written during the time of David. Others even think it could be written by David, uh, and Asaph kind of brought it out and uh, and uh, reminded the people of it. Um, some think it was uh, during Solomon's reign. We don't know. But uh, and again, the the really important thing is not so much when it was written. Um, but um, what it is about, and again, it goes into uh, the history uh, of uh, the nation of Israel. Uh, again, reminding them to uh, to to not turn their back on God uh, like uh, their ancestors did. So, beginning in verse one, uh, we see these words: "Give ear, O my people, to my law; incline your ears to the words uh, of my mouth." And so, Asaph. Uh, begins here uh, by pleading with the people, calling on the people uh, that he has a uh, an important message uh, for them to hear. Uh, and again, he is going to uh, take them uh, down uh, the road of their past, of their ancestors, uh, and reminding them of some things that uh, that happened and some of the lessons. Uh, that they need to learn because of that. Uh, and so as we go on, he says, I will open my mouth in parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known and our fathers have told us. Uh, and so, um, you know, one of the first things I notice uh, in those verses is that uh, Asaph says, you know, we, we know this stuff. Um, we've been told this, our fathers, our ancestors, our grandfathers, uh, they have repeated these stories to us. And so uh, we really have no uh, excuse uh, 
Um, and so he is saying, I'm reminding you of some things that, uh, that we should already be practicing, some things that we should already uh, be um, obedient to. Uh, and uh, again, he says, I'm going to open my mouth um, in parable uh, or uh, owe my people to my law um, that he says in, in verse 1. And so again, uh, th those words are words that um, are saying uh, that uh, what he was about to say uh, was extremely uh, important. They were coming uh, from God. Uh, and when he says he's going to tell them a parable, um, we would probably, if we were saying it, we'd say, I'm going to tell you a story. Um, and the story... Um, you know, uh, it, it would be um, you know, like um, like um, like Aesop's fables that had a uh, a moral to the story. He's telling them a story with a purpose, uh, not just uh, you know, not just to tell them a story, uh, but uh, when he uses that word parable uh, again, it's a a story that has a purpose, a meaning uh, that uh, is going to uh, to to teach them something. He also calls what he's about to say in, in that verse, dark sayings. Um, and again, this is uh, what he means by that, uh, is that it is going to be a, uh, a difficult uh, thing that he's about to say. It's going to require uh, some thought on their part. It's going to require some thinking. Uh, they're going to have to think through uh, what is uh, about what he's about to tell them. In other words, uh, some some hidden lessons, some things. Again, the they they knew their history uh, because he says here our fathers have told us uh, they knew their history, uh, but they uh, they weren't learning from it. They hadn't learned uh, the lesson. Uh, you're probably familiar with uh, the old saying that uh, says those that don't remember their past are destined to repeat it. Um, and that's where Israel was. They, they knew the stories. Uh, they, they, they'd heard about what God had done in Israel they'd, or in Egypt. They'd heard about uh, his deliverance and those kind of things. But the problem was they weren't, uh, they weren't learning uh, from uh, those lessons. And so he says, you know, pay attention, give ear. Uh, you, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to think. Uh, as I tell you uh, these stories, um, you're they're gonna you're gonna have to you know, maybe you're gonna have to think about them in a new way. You've you've heard about how God brought us through the Red Sea. You've heard about the plagues. You've heard about uh, all these stories in the in the Promised Land, and uh, you know you've heard about the walls of Jericho, and you've heard about the uh, you know, the, the manna, you, you've heard about the water from the rock, you've heard about all those stories. You, you, they've been told repeatedly uh, through the ages. But what, I'm, what I want you to do is consider them uh, and learn the lesson from them. And I think, uh, again, as I, as I said earlier, this is a, a, an appropriate, uh, good word uh, for many people today. Uh, that um, we we know the we know history, uh, but we're 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 not learning from it. Uh, we're making some of the same mistakes uh, over again. And he goes on then in verse four and says, "We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works that He hath done." And so. Um, he, he's again trying to get them to understand how important what he's about to tell them is, uh, in that he wants that wants them to uh, not only learn these lessons themselves, uh, but to teach them to their children, uh, so that they would learn, so that they wouldn't make the same mistake, so that they would uh, know of uh, the great works of God and. Uh, the mistakes, again, that their ancestors uh, had made. Uh, and so uh, as we start into this psalm, uh, I, I think it may have been yesterday or the day before that I made the statement, we need uh, a good memory uh, that uh, reminds us of the things of God. Um, and certainly, uh, if you are 
uh, an American. You, you can, you, we should learn from our nation's history um, what God has done and his deliverance. Now he has protected and uh, provided for us. Uh, we see in, in Israel, um, we, can, we can study the word of God and see how, uh, how God has moved and worked in other nations. Uh, we can see the, the error of their way. Um, and you know that that's you know I kind of prefer to learn that way myself rather than me having to make the mistake. I'd rather see somebody else make it, and I oh, I know not to do that next time. Uh, I won't do what he just did. Um, you know I've I've made plenty of mistakes. You know I've uh, grabbed plenty of hot things, sharp things, um, and uh, that's a hard way to learn. Um, much better to learn uh, the lesson uh, from others. Uh, mistakes, and that's what part of what the Word of God does. One of the reasons I love uh, love God's Word is it, it shows us the good, the bad, the ugly, the mistakes that others made, uh, and, and God has given us the the Word of God uh, and, and the and the order it is, and the stories that He has provided for us uh, for that very purpose. And this Psalm uh, is going to be an example of that. Uh, that uh, we learn uh, from the past, that we learn uh, lessons uh, from others and be careful uh, not to commit the same uh, sin, same error uh, of our ancestors or uh, of others. Uh, and so as we dig into this psalm, um, I'm going to again encourage you maybe the idea of, of starting to to journal a little bit, to write down some things, um, just again to, to jog our memory, to keep our mind um, fresh, uh, keep our mind on the things that God has done um, and the things that we learn along the way uh, so that we can uh, go back to them. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I'm looking forward to going through this psalm with you uh, as uh, we consider the lessons uh, of the past uh, for us to learn from. All right, you have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning as we continue in the 78th Psalm.